Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and greeting everyone. I would like to thank to the Ikoma 2023 committee for giving me this opportunity to be part of this conference. On behalf of my research team, I will present and share with all of you regarding our research study which is factor influence the practice of cash waqaf among lecturers for this Ikoma 2023. First of all, I would like to introduce our research team. The first researcher is me, Muhammad Shuhada bin Muhammad Noor. Second researcher is Muhammad Nur Hisham bin Manaf. And the last researcher is Zawati bin Tiyu Kifli. We are lecturers from Commerce Department Polytechnic Unko Omar, Ipoh, Perak. This is a presentation outline which comprises of nine main points which are number one, introduction, number two, literature review, number three, research question, number four, research objective, number five, research hypothesis, number six, research frameworks, number seven, research design and methodology, number eight, data analysis and discussion on finding, and last but not least, number nine, conclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, we move to the first point which is introduction. Waqaf is an Arabic word that means restriction. It means when someone contributes a building, a piece of land or other asset for a charity community improvement cause, such investment are owned by Allah and no longer belong to him. Cash can be defined as money in the form of notes and coins rather than checks or credit card. That can be used instantly to execute economic operations such as purchasing, selling or paying of debts, as well as addressing immediate needs. Therefore, previous researchers have defined cash waqaf as a religious contribution in cash to acquire movable or immovable asset whose usufra benefits society in perpetuity. This study aims to delve into the intricate interplay of factors such as religious belief, income level and awareness to shed light on the barriers and enables influencing the practice of cash waqaf. By identifying these factors, the researchers seek to contribute actionable insight that can be informed, the design of targeted strategies and intervention, ultimately fostering a more widespread and impactful adoption of cash waqaf as a vital instrument for social, for social and economic development. Next, we go to the literature review. Religious belief towards cash waqaf participation. First, a study by Osman and Shuko found that religiousity had a significant influence on the behavioral intention in participating in cash waqaf. Second, Osman show a significant relationship between religious factor and waqaf giving behavior. And then, religious factor needs to be tested because they are thought to play an important role in influencing Muslim behavior. Income level towards cash waqaf participation. Based on research conducted by Iskandar, Mariati and Daniel, states that the income level of a person greatly affects the level of expenditure someone. The income that a Muslim earn is a major source of cash waqaf. So a person income level affect the amount of money he provide for cash waqaf. And second, according to Mutaqin, in his study stated that the income was positive relationship with person waqaf amount. The greater the income a person, the greater the waqaf issued by that person. We still in the literature review, awareness towards cash waqaf participation. Siswan Toro and Devi found that due to lack of knowledge among Muslim and cash waqaf, as a result, cash waqaf is still considered as an unproductive instrument for financing in Indonesia. And then Laldin and Ashraf also found that in Malaysia, the literacy on cash waqaf is still narrow. Okay, next is research question. Research question number one. What is the relationship between religious belief and cash waqaf participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma? Research question number two. What is the relationship between income level and cash waqaf participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma? And research question number three. What is the relationship between awareness 
and cash worker participation among lecturers in polytechnic Unkoma. Okay, now I will continue to the research objective that guide our study. The study aim to identify the relationship between religious belief and cash worker participation among lecturers in polytechnic Unkoma. Research objective number two to identify the relationship between income level and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. And the next research objective number three, to identify the relationship between awareness and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. Our study guided by three research hypotheses. Research hypothesis number one, there is a significant relationship between religious belief and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. Research hypothesis number two, there is a significant relationship between income level and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. And research hypothesis number three, there is a significant relationship between awareness and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. Moving forward, I would like to share with the research framework that serve a backbone of our research. This framework illustrates the connection between our independent variable, which is religious beliefs, income level, and awareness, and our independent variable is cash worker participation among lecturers. Okay, for this slide, I would like to provide an overview of the research design and methodology that we have adopted for our study. This framework guides how we approach our research, gather data, and draw meaningful conclusion. First, our research design, we are using type of study using qualitative and quantitative approach. Then for sample size, 150 Muslim lecturers from Polytechnic Unkoma Ipo has been chosen. Then collection of data. Data collection is carried out using a questionnaire involving Muslim lecturers from Polytechnic Unkoma. For measurement method and instrumentation, we utilize the combination of nominal, ordinal, and interval scale were used in this study. Interval scale are used to measure non-numeric concepts like one strongly disagree, two disagree, number three neutral, number four agree, and then number five strongly agree. And then for data analysis, we are using statistical package for social science SPSS 25 version software program. Technique we use frequency test, reliability analysis, person correlation analysis, multiple uh, analysis coefficient multiple regression okay for this slide I will explain about data analysis and discussion on findings our data analysis journey begins with the careful collection and preparation of our data to ensure quality one of the powerful tools we employed during our analysis was correlation analysis this technique helped us to understand the strength and the direction of relationship between variable. Okay, for the first objective is to identify the relationship between religious belief and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. Okay, the correlation we got is 0.811. It shows that religious belief factor has a positive relationship with the cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. And then for the second objective is to identify the relationship income level and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. The correlation analysis we have uh, 0 0.815. It shows that income level factor has a positive relationship between the cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma. And then our last objective is to identify the relationship awareness and cash worker participation among lecturers in Polytechnic Unkoma, we got the correlation is 0 0.898. It showed that 
awareness factor has a positive relationship with the cash worker participation among lecturers in polytechnic Ukoma. Okay, for the conclusion, the complex nature of individual encompassing their religious belief, income level and awareness and enably shape their participation in cash waka, particularly among lecturers. The study has demonstrated that a strong alignment with religious conviction can serve a potent catalyst, propelling lecturers to engage in cash waka, as it resonates with their spiritual values and sense of social responsibility. Furthermore, income level play a pivotal role with higher disposable income often leading to a more significant propensity for participation, fueled by the capacity to contribute meaningfully. Equally vital is the impact of awareness, where an enhanced understanding of cash worker purpose, mechanics and potential societal benefit can substantially increase participation rates among lecturers. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.